Good morning. This is our offline video lesson number 5 or week 5 in understanding culture, society, and politics. So our discussion or topic for this week is socialization. So first, what is socialization? So that is a life long process through people learn the values and norms of the given society here are four we have personality your culture differences and sex uh, sex rule so when we say personality it's ours when we say culture our surround uh, our uh, surrounding by uh, dominates by maybe tradition, norms and values, uh, differentiation, we have different et uh, ethnic groups, we have different people uh, in a different places. Last is sex rule. So what is sex rule? Uh, it's either uh, men or women. But here in the Philippines, we have we are we are dominated by male or uh, men as long as we consider that we are in a patriarchal society so we have types of socialization so we have gender socialization primary socialization and anticipatory socialization so when you see gender recognize the gender norms that occur through both active teaching and more sub subtle passive observations such as noticing that more men entering the field of engineering than do women but uh, pasimplihin na lang natin katulad ng boys don't wear pink Kasi, pag sinabing pink, that is a uh, uh, resemblance to the woman. Is it? But nowadays, we are uh, uh, an e uh, gender equality that men can wear pink even though not, not, uh, we are not talking about the gender preferences. Next is primary socialization occur early in a child life and is primarily due to the influence of family and close friends. Through primary socialization, a child learns basic societal norms and customs. Toilet training. For example, toilet training is an example of a primary socialization. No, not a joke, but uh, uh, as a child, we are, uh, that is our daily norms na ginagawa sa bahay na, syempre, uh, for example, maglinis ng banyo, magluto, and so and so forth. Anticipatory socialization is a process of rehearsing an event before it occurs. For example, role-playing interaction with friends or rehearsing for a job interview are example of anticipatory socialization next slide so we have agents of socialization first we have family so what about family so it is the first age in socialization, mother and father, siblings, grandparents, plus members of extended family. All teach a child what he or she needs to know. For example, they show the child how to use objects such as clothes, computers, eating, eating using of utensils, books, bikes how to relate to others uh, some as family other as friends still other as 
as strangers or teachers or neighbors. Next is school. So classroom led to a teacher serving as a role model and leaders regularly, uh, regularly reinforce what society expects from the child. So according to sociolo sociologists, describe this aspect of school as hiding curriculum that uh, that is informal teaching done by the school. So next is workplace. Different jobs require different types of socialization. In the past, many of people work in a single job until retirement. Today, the trends is to switch job at least once a decade uh, a decade so this means that people must become social socialized to and socialized by a variety of works environment although socialists socialists socialize into a, to their culture since birth workers require new socialization into workplace in terms of, of both mat uh, material culture and non-material culture so next is uh, church so while some religion are informal institution here we focus on the practices followed by formal institution. Religion is important avenue to socialization for many people. Uh, around the world, maybe we have G uh, Jesuit, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, Christian, church, uh, Christians, Muslim, similar religions community where people gather worship and learn like other institution these places teach participants how to interact with a religion ma religious material culture for some people important ceremonies related to the family structure like marriage and birth next is peer group made up with the people who are similar in age and social structure uh, social status and who share interest pair group socialization begins in the earliest years such as when kids on a playground teach younger children the norms about taking turns and ru rules of uh, games or how to shoot a, ba a basket as a children grow in the te uh, teenagers, this process continues. Pair groups are important to the adolescents in a new way as they begin to develop an identity separate, separate, separate from their parents and exert independence. Last is mass media so i know all of, maybe all of us are familiar with this mass media distribute in uh, impersonal information to the wide audience via television newspaper radio and internet with the average person spending over four hours a day into front of television for instance children averaging even more screen time media greatly influences social norms people learn about objects of material culture like new technologies transportation options and for non-material we have beliefs and values as well and maybe the norms Next is social deviance and conformity so let uh, define social deviance so that is a behavior it, that contrary to the dominant norms of society 
So, there are different causes of a person to perform deviant behavior. So, we have crimes. So, we have different uh, types of crimes. Uh, first, we have crime against person. So, crimes against person called a personal crimes include murder, aggravated assault, rape, and robbery. Personal crimes are unevenly distributed in the Philippines with a young, urban, poor, or ra uh, racial minorities committing these crimes more than others. Next is a crimes against property. Involves a theft of property without bodily harm such as uh, auto tip and arson. Like personal crimes, young, urban, poor, and racial minorities generally commit these crimes more than others. Next is crimes against morality. That is victimless crimes because there is not a, a complainant or victim. These are prostitution, illegal gambling, illegal drugs are used, uh, use are all example of victimless crimes. White collar crimes. Crimes that committed by people of high social status who committed their crimes in the context of occupation. This includes embezzling or stealing money from the other employer, insider trading, tax evasion, and other violation of income tax law. Generally less concern in the public minds than the other types of crime. However, in the terms of total dollars, white collar crimes are even more consequential for society. Nonetheless, these crimes are generally the less investigated and less prosecuted. Last is organized crime. Organized crime is a crime committed by structured group typically invol involving the distribution of illegal goods and services to others. Many people think of map uh, for example, the mafia, when they think an organized crime, but the term ca uh, can refer to the any group that exercise control over the large illegal enterprises such as drugs, uh, dr I mean drug trade, illegal gambling, prostitution, weapon smuggling, or money laundering. In conformity, uh, when we say conformity, the tendency to uh, to align your attitude, beliefs, and behavior with those around you. It's a powerful force that can take the form of, of overt social pressure or unconsciously influence. As much as we like to think of ourselves as individuals. The fact it is the driving to fit in and that usually means going with the flow. Conformity in, in, uh, involves changing your behavior or order to fit in or go along with the people around you. In some cases, this social influence, uh, influence might involve agree, uh, agree with or acting like majority of the people in a specific group, or it might invo involve behaving, behaving in a particular way in order to be perceived as normal by the group. Next is types of conformity. First, we have normative conformity. Involves changing one's behavior in order to fit in with a group. A desire to avoid punish punishments, such as going along with the rules in the class even though you don't agree with them. 
and gain rewards such as behaving in a certain way in order to get people to like you. Next is informational conformity. Happens when people change their behavior in order to be correct in situation where we are unsure of the correct response. We often la look to others who are better in, uh, informed and more knowledgeable and use their lead as guide for our behaviors. In classroom setting, for example, this might involve agreeing or you are agree with the judgment of other classmates who you perceive as being highly intelligent. Sometimes, makikita natin sa classroom kung makikita nyo kung sino yung matalino, kung anong sinabi niya, okay na tayo. Kahit alam naman sa sarili natin kung minsan may mga doubt. But since uh, ang nasa isip natin, sila lang yung nakaka uh, medyo nakak uh, mas marami ang alam kesa sa atin. But alam nyo naman sa sarili nyo kung minsan you have your doubt. Or may mga katanungan pa kayo na feeling nyo parang hindi naman. But since uh, he or she are highly intelligent uh, highly intelligent than you so you are agree next is identification so in identification occurs when people perform to what is expected of them of them basis upon their social rules uh, for uh and Stanford Prison Experiment is a good example of people al altering their behavior in order to fit into their expect, uh, expected rules. Next is uh, compliance. So when we see compliance, outward behavior in, in which a uh, person going along with the attitude and viewpoint of a major majority in order to be socially accepted the person does not actually share the uh, attitude and view uh, viewpoints he or she is merely appearing to do so an example might be expressing a political viewpoint when you are with a group that shared that viewpoint even though you don't uh, you don't believe it yours uh, it yourself or perhaps even though you're saying you like a particular music musician or band when you do not but your friends do it is shallow behavior when the single aim of the public acceptance N uh, last is internalization both an outward and an inward behavior is which a person adopt the viewpoint and attitude of a group and make uh, makes them their own unlike compliance in the which conformity is purely for the social acceptance with internalization the person conform because they believe the group viewpoint for example for example might be become a veget uh, vegetarian because the people around you believes it's wrong to harm animals so it is deep uh, be, uh, behavior that leads to an attitude change so that's uh thank you that's all uh isasend ko na lang sa messenger yung uh, activity and quiz. So, kung may mga katanungan kayo nandito po sa baba, I have my Gmail and Facebook account, Remel Al M. Almohela. Doon na lang po kayo magtanong. And then, kung baka ngayong week, uh, gumawa ako ng uh, FB group para yung iba kasi hindi nakakapanood sa YouTube kung gusto mo gamitin ang uh, social media doon ko na lang i 
nagpo-post kasi nga feeling ko mas tipid kayo pag naka-FB uh, I mean yung data nyo is nasa FB so thank you for listening uh, thank you grade, uh, grade 11 learners good morning